Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today, as I have a lot to level up, and also kill some uh, kobolds up, up on this side. Uh, we will do that in due time, we also need to sleep before we do that. So, uh, let's level up. We haven't, we're not leveling up Agati yet. Uh, eventually she will, maybe, we'll see. Uh, so right now, I am gonna go level up as a fighter here for... Amiri, what's her name? Valerie, sorry. Um, so yeah, as a fighter right there, uh, we are gonna get some things. I think we, yeah, I think the fact that it's got like a little thing over there means that uh, that we gain one. Like for example, forty-two over there. Oh, we gain two over here. That's interesting. How do I tell that? Yeah, but we should be gaining some over here anyway. So, I don't know, I, yeah, just, I suppose we, I had one willpower and now I have two. And, uh, I suppose I had, uh, how, if I unclick that, I can't unclick that. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's move forward, let's, uh, see what we have over here. We've got athletics, we kind of need that. Maybe we need that. Uh, lower religion. I hope I'm not leveling you up on that. Am I? Did I level you? Oh, no, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Are you sure I'm leveling you up on Lord of Religion? Yes, I seem to recall that. Let's let's go with that. Uh, and yeah, let's go with that. That sounds decent enough. We're gonna get one feat uh, alertness. Oh yeah, for her. Yeah, I need I need defense. Armor focus. Yeah, armor focus. Heavy armor for sure. Uh, just for tank as much as possible. Uh, probably shield. Actually, there's a shield focus over here. Shield focus. Increases the armor class bonus granted by any shield you are using by one. So that might be better in the short run. Because uh, because I don't know if I'm wearing heavy armor right now. And at least it gives me a little bit more... Um, a little bit more uh, versatility, which is always nice. Uh, and that's that, I guess. That's that. There's no further information around here. Gotcha. Okay, and she heals up a little bit with the uh, extra, uh, extra hit points that she gains. Over here we have Jethal, and she of course goes with Inquisitor. We're gonna get solo tactics and teamwork feat. We also need to look at the spells that she's gonna gain. Uh, they don't appear over here as far as I can tell. Uh, and uh, she doesn't get any new feats. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Trickery. Maybe Stealth more than anything. She has many skill points, which is nice. Um, let's go with Perception. What am I doing with her? Why? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then Athletics? Sure. She's probably our best one for Athletics anyway. So this uh, this this looks good. I think I, I was just leveling up skills that I didn't want her to have or something like that. Or maybe Mobility. Do I want Mobility? Instead of Athletics. No, I want athletics for her. Somebody else is gonna need to have mobility. Uh, we're gonna have weapon focus, and she has our point blank shot. Now she does have a sword. I don't remember which sword it is, but what is she using right now? Oh yeah, the scythe. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we might go with just having a scythe around here, just giving her that. If we get better scythes, I suppose we could uh, get something better for her eventually. So things things look good. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's get her scythe, scythe uh, ca capacities and things. So I'm gonna go with perception because she's pretty good on that. I'm gonna get uh, athletics up here, stealth, and that's how I was doing this, wasn't it? I don't think so. Trickery. I had trickery. Yeah, trickery is more important than stealth. Uh, and then weapon focus over here for a. Scythe, right there, uh, and I also have a teamwork feat over here for back to back, which is nice. And I actually want that. Uh, no, actually, I want the coordinated. I, I want the one that requires other people to have that as well. Your allies' eyes are your own, while you are flanked and and adjacent to an ally with this feat, you gain a plus two. Uh, yeah, that's not really what I want. Coordinated defense. 
Whenever you are adjacent to an ally who also has this feat, you gain a plus two competence on your combat maneuver defense. This bonus increases to plus four if the creature attempting to maneuver is larger. Okay, that's good, not for us. Uh, competence bonus on all combat maneuver checks. Precise strike. Oh yeah, this, this is the one. Precise strike for sure. Uh, because I'm gonna give that as well to Amiri and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. So basically, um, Flanking the same creature, you deal with one additional 1d6 uh, if the other companion has the same thing, right? Whenever you and an ally who also has this feat, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so those are specific traits for teamwork, that's interesting. Then over here, uh, cure light wounds, yes, I want that, for sure, absolutely want that, <laughs> so much. Yeah, there's, there's like no, of course, <laughs> what else? Uh, I mean, there are other things that I might want. Divine Favor, that's for... Yeah, I might want to use that as well from time to time. Uh, Stunning Barrier. There's some nice stuff in here, but we can only have one, so we're gonna go with this. Uh, and that's a complete. Uh, and now for Amory, she's gonna go with the Barbarian for the moment. Eventually, I'll, I'll, I may stop. Like, I wanna reach that. What's, what level is that? Uh, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sounds like a good place. And then we get a secondary uh, class for her. Or maybe halfway through we get another level. Yeah, we'll I'll figure it out. Uh, the thing about the levels is that it's not like you're going to level up faster on the other class. Because it used to be dual classing. You gained exp I don't remember how it was in the first versions of Dungeons & Dragons. But he had a specific way of leveling up that actually kind of allowed you to do some uh, multi-classing things without much of a penalty. Um, be, it, because your your experience would be distributed among two classes. And here it's just basically you level up and each level you can take a different class level. So, uh, athletics, mobility, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, she has two more points, that's pretty straightforward right there. Uh, and we got a weapon focus. She has that already. So can I just close it? See what she has right now. She has a great sword, so if I need a weapon focus on great sword, I'm gonna go with that. So barbarian, please. Let's get these up. If I can click on the things, uh, weapon focus on a great sword. So basically, what this does is plus one bonus to attack rolls, and that's that. You also gain this feat. Multi you can gain this feat multiple times. Its effects do not stack. Each time you take the feat, it applies to a new type of weapon. Okay, yeah, so it basically, yeah, you can't take Greatsword again anyway. So that's good. That's what I was expecting. Unless I have that already. Hmm. It doesn't show over here that I'm getting this. Let's make sure she doesn't have that already. Um, so if I look at her abilities... I see that I don't have anything of that. Weapon proficiency for Bastard Sword, which is that weapon, a large Bastard Sword. So do I want that? Maybe I do, actually I probably do. Yeah. And it's it's a weird weapon. I suppose it might have get a quest or something to, up, uh, to upgrade it, or just get a better one. Um, so weapons, weapon focus for a bastard sword. Does it apply, I suppose, a great bastard sword? Do I actually have that? Is that such a thing? No. I suppose it's a mixture. It might be a mixture. I wonder if it's a mixture. Like, you get bonuses of both. Because that would be a fantastic. Um, but that... Yeah. Okay. That might actually mean... Her current attack bonus is five. Uh, six, she goes down to five. With a considerable increase in the damage, so, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I'll go with that. Is that a plus four? She get, Oh no, that's because of the damage bonus she gets, I suppose, from her strength and other things as well. Huh. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Let's uh, worry about the skill books in a little bit. So you're gonna level up as a bard again, and then, actually, I might change her into another class. A thief would be good for backstabbing and things. I don't know if I want to have that for her. Also, it's just such a pain using a thief <laughs> in, a, in a party. It's just, it's, yeah. If it were a turn-based game instead of real-time with pause, it'd be a little bit easier. But even then, it's, yeah. It's a pain. 
Use magic device, I might go with that, and I probably will. We got trickery over here, which is really nice. Uh, and uh, she has... I might go with that. That looks... Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll go with that. And then we have lingering performance. The effects of your bardic performance carry on even after you have stopped performing. I also need to look at how exactly she is working with that. Uh, so weapon finesse. What actually does it that do? Oh, dexterity instead of... Uh, it's for... It's for specific weapons. I don't, I don't want that. Lingering performance is probably what I need. Because that's just, you know, it's for her. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, and we have these things. Okay, so what am I going to... We're still at level 1. So what am I going to go with? Cure Light Wounds, I have that already. So I can't do anything. Vanish, that's on one ally. That's interesting. Unbreakable Heart. Plus 4 morale on saving throws against mind-affecting effects. That's nice. I might want that. Uh, sleep, not interested. Hideous Laughter is pretty amazing, isn't it? Is that the one... Um, it doesn't seem to have a limit. It's a will save, but it doesn't seem to have a limit, like for HD. So I might go with Hideous Laughter. That sounds pretty awesome. One friendly creature within close range gains... Uh, ignores the adverse effects of difficult terrain. So it's not what I thought. That's the uh, one minute per level. Okay. This spell creates your uh, increases your base speed by 30 feet. This adjustment is treated as an enhancement bonus. There's no effect on other modes of movement such as burrow, climb, fly, or uh, swim. Uh, and cause fear. What is that? Uh, creatures of six or more HD are immune to this effect. Huh. Okay. So that's like the old. Um, yeah. I. I. Yeah. So let's go with that. Hideous laughter. <laughs> Hideous laughter. It's, yeah, I thought, the reason, the, the fact that it's called Hideous Laughter and she just doubled that HP, um, the fact that it's called Hideous Laughter made me, always made me think that it's, it was them doing the Hideous Laughing, and not us, but, um, but, or, you know, as they were doing it to us, but no, they forced us to do, uh, to hideously laugh, and basically that's what happened. Okay, now. What I want to do is I want to go through all of these things, and I hope I'm not re gonna regret any of this. Uh, and I can just keep you over here. Is he around? There you go. Yeah, good stuff. Now I want to look at my spells here, and I want to make sure that uh, that I have, you know, things that I care for. Because the problem is in our book, and if we access our book, the ranger actually doesn't have any spells for right now, unless she does. No, she doesn't. Uh, we got Treat Affliction, that's for specific things. It's so specific that I'm not going to have it here. Dazzling Display, now that is really nice. And again, a Persuasion check. Fight Defensively, so those are modes. I'm going to keep them over here. Acrobatics, I don't know what that is. You can move through a threatened square without provoking an attack of opportunity. I know what that is. From an enemy by using Acrobatics. Uh, that's pretty good. That's also sort of a mode. And I think it is actually a mode. So I'll keep it over there. And then on the belt... Um, Everything is fine, and honestly, I don't need these things. Can you please just put that over there? I still have that mode. Okay. Um, okay, can't change the characters. We have this lantern. Put it over there. We have these things. We're not going to use them for the moment, so I don't really need these things for right now. And if, any, uh, if at any time I have a fight... That requires me to use spells. I'll just uh, I'll use them because there's no you know you can equip them anytime. I think it might be an option, but there it is. So it's a very limited skill set over here for Giladel. This can uh, this doesn't have a, a limit, so it's pretty nice. Might do that right off the bat, especially against the uh, against the kobolds that are about to fight or will fight. Uh, that's also pretty good. So we got some stances over here. I keep them that right there. Also acrobatics over here as always or as obviously is the case. We got a charge. For the first one, we also have a demoralize. Does she have persuasion? She doesn't have persuasion, so... Yeah. And that's that. She even has fewer than I... Uh, fewer skills that I... Uh, <laughs> than, than Giladel has. Okay, so that's good enough right there. And there's some abilities over here, and there are some spell books. Now, let's look at her spell book. And it's pretty straightforward, but she comes with all of these. Now, are these always... Are these always available here, I wonder? Yes. So we got days. 
And Days is nice. Th Days is definitely one of the ones that I like. Resistance is also pretty good. Light, uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, Acid Splash does very, very little damage, but it can be nice because it is an AoE as far as I can tell. Uh, this over here, uh, Disrupt and Dead. One enemy creature... That's the Bleed one, isn't it? Ray hits an undead creature, it deals 1d6 points of damage to it. Yeah, that's pretty good, I'll keep that. And it's also, it's, it, yeah, it's good. Virtue. Tiny Surge of Light, granting a subject one temporary hit point. Now, this could be automatic. Uh, and this should... May... I like it. I like it, I'll go with that. Uh, and then over here, what do we have? Guidance. Plus one uh, competence to single attack rolls. Yeah, that, that one is really nice as well, and I like that. And we used that in last episode, I think. Uh, and then we have the main ones that I'm just going to keep over here. Uh, that's cure, isn't it? Yes. Okay. That's good enough. Now, you throw all those away. She doesn't actually have spell spells, but she does have a bunch of abilities. And that's a modal over here. She has also fight defensively, which is good. Treat affliction, which doesn't matter. And she has rage. Now, I don't really understand. You don't activate that, do you? So you gain plus two bonus on melee attack rolls, melee damage rolls, uh, throw, so they do plus two damage, thrown uh, weapon damage rolls, and will saving throw. So that's interesting. In addition, she also takes minus two penalty to armor class and gains a temporary two hit points per hit die. I'm not really sure how that is calculated, the hit die, though. But that's that sounds good. She might end up gaining like 20 or 30 hit points. I remember... Um, Minsk, when he went berserk, he gained about that in in my last playthrough. I don't know why those I, why those skills over there had um, had these little arrows, but I guess I'm figuring out why. That's curious. If it's what I think it is, then it's really nice. Let's look at our book. Uh, so she has that. She can't level up. She will level up soon, but there it is. Uh, so that's all of our spells. Now, why did it have those things, I wonder? Was it because it's an ability? No. It's because they literally have that. Summon Monster 1, Inflict Light Wound, and that comes from Cure Light Wound. And Remove Sickness. Yeah. So, let's put that over there. Uh, I'll put that over there as well. And then over here, we got a resistance that we might want. We have this one. Oh, she doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't have cantrips. And we got this one as well. So, yeah. It's not a, a big spell book, as you can obviously tell. But then we have these things. We got a charge for her, which is not really necessary. We got a restoration. We have these things that are absolutely crucial. And this Rebuke Death is not that important. I'm not gonna go with that, I'm not gonna go with that. Light Halo. Whilst using a Halo, they gain a plus two circumstance bonus on saving throws against becoming blinded or dazed, and that's a modal thing, so that's good enough. Might have to change that. So then that's, that's, that's good enough for me. And now we have our proper spellcaster over here. And if I'm not mistaken, she casts just a certain amount of spells per day. Good stuff. So, how exactly does a bard work? I wonder. So, we got a charge. We also have it to demoralize. Now, this would be interesting if I want, if I have that. She has inspired courage. That's what that is. That's what I'm missing here. With her in particular, anyway. So, I'm going to get those things and see what they are. So, no, don't right-click. The first uh, level bard can use his performance to inspire courage in his allies, including himself, bolstering them against fear and improving their combat abilities. To be affected, an ally must be able to perceive the bard's performance. That's just for pen and paper. An, an, an affected ally receives a plus one morale bonus on saving throws against charm and fear effects, and plus one competence bonus on attack and weapon damage rolls. A fifth level, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that is really nice, actually. And I can use that 13 times per, per sleep. Yeah, and we've seen bards use these. It says it's permanent. But it it can't be. No. There's a timing to it. That's what that is. Those are the number of turns. 
and you disable that. I turned it off. Those are still there. It's the lingering effect. And now it's gone. Oh, that, oh, that's really nice. I wonder if I can just enable it for one turn and let the lingering effect stay. Uh, this is a weird... This is an interesting... It's similar to Pillars of Eternity. The way they control... You control the bards in there. And I, I just realized that it's been 20 minutes and I've been looking at, at characters. Uh, well, I have... I like it. Hopefully you do as well. But uh, it is similar, but in Pills of Eternity you have a different way of handling. It's just a lot easier in there because you can make songs and just work with that. Now, this one is really nice to have. And as this... That, that one... Touch of Fatigue. You channel negative energy from your touch. Fatiguing the target, you must succeed on touch. Uh, no effect on a creature that is already fatigued. Eh. Uh, and a flare. Creates a burst of light. You cause the light to burst in front of a single creature and uh, dazzled for one minute unless they make a saving throw. So that's nice. We got dazed and dazzled. Um, and then... Didn't mean to do that. That's a nice song. What is this one for? So this is for attacks. This one is plus two competence bonus on all skill checks, as long as they continue to hear the bard's performance. This bonus increases, but yeah, so that's skill checks. Gotcha. Uh, and then over here we have Ear Piercing Scream. Now these are really powerful. Uh, and then, then it's gone. Cure Light Wounds, absolutely needed. Hypnot hypnotism, that's the one we got recently, and a hideous laughter. Or is it not? No, I thought we came with this. Or she came with this. Okay, we're good. Let's have a nap. Um, so, save the game first, make the camp, and let's go to sleep. And also see what Lindsay can do. Um, so we need, we need six rations, I can manage, so I don't have rations. It's just I don't have rations, I'm, I'm gonna remove all of these, and uh, natural healing, use, yeah, that's, no, we don't have the spells. Oh, look at that, you can see, okay, so that's eight, four, seven, twelve, and twelve. Okay, you're not very good at much. So, you're gonna go there for right now. Okay, you're not gonna go there for right now. You're gonna help someone eventually. Can you please? Thank you. Uh, then it's plus threes and plus two over here. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, then you. You have a plus seven on hunting and some watch. Actually, how much hunting do I have? Eight? Yeah. Yeah, she's not that great, but it's good. Uh, then you have, you can help with the hunting, we don't have camp camouflage, well, we got nice cooking here though, okay, undead guardians, ooh, that's interesting, sharper weapons inspire confidence, that's Amiri, but she's over there, so, I could, uh, and probably should do this, and then I do this, and see if we can, if we manage this. Let's find out. Valerie, didn't you like stories, even as a child? I can't believe that. All children like stories. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not a child anymore. Maybe you should grow up at last, too. Well, that's rude. Also, she asked, didn't you like stories? Which was, it's a very specific thing. <laughs> Not, don't you like stories? Okay. And now we got... Did we get any buff? Hearty meal. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, now we're ready. Uh, we're not fully healed, but we will be. So, I'm so tempted to save scum for the for these light wounds. Too. It's such a gamble. Plus five. Oh, that that healed very little, didn't it? Unless that's Street Affliction. That is not Street Affliction. She's good. Uh. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, and they got five more over here. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Now I think these don't necessarily replenish. I'm not really sure why she had 13 and now she has 17. Let's go deal with some cobalts. There's a lot of them. Oh, how fast we are. Unless they are all asleep, which they are not, I don't think. Um, okay, so now you're going to want to do a little bit of a singing. Um, 
and I want you to go there. That's going to be a tricky one. So everybody is has the combat ability, so I'm going to stop that and wait until it's gone. And I'm also going to bring her up a little bit so I can better see what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let's see, so I want a Gaddy over here as well, just in case I want to do damage to everyone, and I will eventually do damage to everyone. Missed a couple. That's a hit right there, and that is a hit over here. There's somebody over here, though. Um, might want to go in and uh, f make everybody afraid or something. That's a nice shot. Okay, so you want to attack there. No, you want to attack that guy, because that's going to be a tricky one. Uh, okay, we're not singing anymore. That's fine. We can wait. We don't need that right now. That's a kill. Uh, then we want that. And the reason why I'm bringing Gilladel up is because... Oh, that was two damage right there. Uh, it's because she's going to do the Intimidation hit. And look at that. So I want both you and you as close as possible and attacking... We have a an alchemist, so that's gonna... I don't know what that's gonna happen. What, what that's gonna mean. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and attack you. Let's see what we can do with our frontliners, though. So, you attack that. And what I'll do first and foremost is this. And I need to get closer. I need to get even closer. That sounds good. What? Just like that. Dazzling display. It's, is it modal, or what exactly? I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, let's bring Agari up, because she has this, which she will use. I want you to get up there, not to loot. Okay. Dazzling display. It, it, okay. Oh. Mutagen constitution miss. Uh, this looks pretty scary for them. Um, and are they dazzled? They, they they have a weird thing on them. It's damage leaving here. Uh, it's just a little bit overkill. That alchemist right there is nasty. So I think I think they are I think they are affected. Can I right click? No, I can't. Yeah, that that guy is nasty. Okay, this should be okay. I don't think distance affects the hit chance. Hopefully, it doesn't. We're killing them all. And you're also taking a bunch of damage. Okay, so now I need another heal on you. And you're good to go where you are. She casts the spell back there and then moves forward to, a, to apply it. Plus five, thank you. It's basically the amount of damage I had taken. Okay, this is good news. This is good news because we know where Tartuccio is. He should be here. Or around here, anyway. Uh, I didn't know it was here, the mine was, because... Oh, I did! Remember how I clicked that? The entrance to the mine has recently been cleared. It appears the kobolds have made use of this path. Interesting that they didn't bother... They did bother to, of course, uh, change the the name or the thing that showed up when we clicked that before. They didn't bother to actually block it with <laughs> with things on the map, which is totally fine, of course. But that's that's the reason. I didn't put two and two together there. Okay. Sometimes you will come across locations shrouded in darkness, such as caverns or catacombs. To find your way around them, you you can use lanterns, torches, or the light spell. Thank you. I do have a lantern. Why does it have zero charges? I think I, I already have light. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. We got a gatekeeper over there. It's interesting that uh, they don't see me. Doesn't mean they will still not see me. Oh, they, that's just how that goes. Oh, this is bad news. Okay, Amiri, get back here. Okay. Ooh, that's bad. She's now taking damage. What are you doing? Don't do what you're about to do. Okay. That sucks. 
Okay, Amiri is taking a lot of damage. Um, fight defensively. I don't think that's gonna help. I because that's spell casting. Okay, let's take that one down. Oh, she's so fast though. And she's down. She's not dead, fortunately. Those guys are. Oh, there's still somebody over here. This is bad news. Um, okay, you attack that if you can. We all attack this. And Lindsay, you switch your weapons. She's taking damage, though. There it is. Okay, now she has a shield and they're missing. Good news. Uh, one damage and there it is. Well, good-ish news. It wasn't great. That Amiri basically got immediately attacked was pretty nasty. But that's because she was at the back. Which is interesting, because she's fast. Okay. Is there anything up there? Ooh. Oh, there it is. Uh, we got ourselves a silver statuette. Silver disc. That's a ring that doesn't matter. Okay. I really don't know if I should have found the, the ring already. These wooden structures are a few centuries old, some even older, but they have withstood the ravages of time. Well, in a dusty cave like this, it's uh, it might be to be expected. Okay, well, I didn't die just then. That's nice. Let's see what we can do. We can disarm it. Successfully. It's a good thing I have this auto-pausing on trap detection. <laughs> uh, I wish you could configure your team to act uh, also stop on trap detection. That's a thing that you can do in, uh, in Pills of Eternity, but not in this game, as far as I can tell. Uh, she did a save. She still took damage. Well, it's the backliner, so it doesn't matter as much if they take damage. That's another trap right there. And the reason why she took damage is because, I suppose, once you fail, you cannot succeed. Um, so, yeah. It's like the lockpicks. Speaking of which, I might be able to open the, that lockpick that's, uh, that's back home. No, open the lockpick. Open the lock. And there it is. More disarms. And we are getting experience. I don't know if from the is it, if it's from no it is it is from uh, opening these things or disarming these things, so that's nice. Uh, how long how far away are you from leveling up? Not too much. We have a huge cave as it turns out. Break now all break says that cobalt over there. Our journey into the mysterious dungeon brought us by twists and turns to an old mine. A huge hatch in the floor blocked our way. Its panels were half open and squeaked angrily, threatening to plunge careless adventurers into the abyss below. It stretched from wall to wall, making it impossible to simply walk around this deadly trap. Break! All break bad! We turned around and saw a kobold sitting on the ground beside a uh, broken lever. The kobold was... Holding his head in his hands, but sensing us, he jumped. Stop! You go! You fall! I'll go! I'll fall! Sorrow! Sorrow! He grew woeful and lamenting. He skittered down one of the passages. Then we tried to jam the door to deactivate the trap. Using equal parts wisdom and dexterity, we jammed the ominous hatch. Now we proceeded without fear. Thus, the darkness of the yawning abyss was roundly defeated. With 85 experience gained, I'm pretty sure it is not distributed by the party, it's gained per character that you have, which is lovely, um, and also it's not very good for if you want to do this game solo. And we also have a giant spider, which is bad news, because if there are the tiny spiders, uh, then I don't know, uh, I don't have the presence of mind to know exactly what I need to do. Uh, let's send you up. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's, 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 there's many. There's many spiders. Okay, let's get in position here. Ooh, a trap. Okay, uh, that's, that's bad. Uh, let's skill. See what we can do. Okay, so we have Amity at the front immediately. Uh, which is pretty bad news. She can't do anything here. Oh, she's... That's not necessarily the great thing, the greatest thing. You can activate multiple modals? Well, she's dead. 
Uh, not necessarily dead, but yeah. So, I'm gonna bring you up here. You're gonna do that. And then you're gonna do this. Okay, now you can disable that. And you can try dazing these, although that, I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen. Let's try kill that. Maybe Amory is gonna survive. Everyone else seems to be able to. Um, so, unselect you and let's kill you. Here, Amory has not died yet. Okay. So they have taken a little bit of damage. Hmm. See if I can keep her from dying from poison or something. That's nice. Okay, not you. And... Well, she's guided now. And she didn't die. And we leveled up! Look at how amazing everything is. Let's see. A cleric. Um, we are gonna need greater domain power, numerous heralds. That's good. Uh, let's see. Lower religion. Uh, lower arcana. And that's the two skill points that she has. And then we have spell focus. Great. How do I, how do I even know the name of the... Like, what schools they are from and all that. I want that, but... I don't know. I never know. It's, it's the most complicated thing in... For me, anyway. It's the most complicated thing in, in, uh, in Dungeons and & Dragons and any similar systems. It's knowing the schools. Because they're not shown anywhere. They're shown in the, the, the things, but... In the um, um, manuals. Conjuration. Thank you. Because those are not normal words. Those are not words that I know. Right? Conjura... What? I, what? Who knows what conjuration is? It's just, what, you summon people? That's not. That's probably, like, abjuration or something. I have no idea. Uh, actually, I could check. Uh, let's see. Spell focus. Conjuration. Next. I didn't actually check what it did, but that's what she's going to go. I'm not going to stick with her for too long. She's here uh, until we find people who talk. Um, and that's that. Okay. Now, for her, she also is not getting too much. What are you doing? Stop. Um... For her, I want to look... Yeah. Look at that. Monster summoning is also conjuration. Why would monster summoning be in the same one as the healing? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I, I never know one where those... The, the schools, I mean. And some spells are really good for that. Because you can... Uh, like in Baldur's Gate, you can uh, cast spells that make you immune to specific schools of magic. And that's really powerful because usually, if, you, if you're playing correctly, it's usually one or two spells at most that are uh, being a bother. So you, if you play correctly elsewhere and if, you're, um, if your skills and spells are all good. The trolleys were left here um, by human miners. Long ago, the kobolds managed to repair them, though. Okay. Um, the, they were left long ago. The kobolds managed to repair them. Um, yeah, but it's like if you're playing normally, it's very dark in here, even the map. Uh, you're only gonna have a problem like with a, maybe a, a charm it's causing you trouble maybe a uh, some like maze spell or something like that maze spell is actually one that's very tricky to, to get past uh, and then you just cast uh, uh, whatever the school is of course for knowing that school I guess you need to look it up okay we got a si giant spider over there it doesn't know we're here it has very... Oh, many legs. Let's kill. Uh, immediately, Amiri goes down. Or does she? No, she does. Uh, that's spiders going... That's a bit of spy... That's... That's... Death. Okay, she's good. That was a miss on the spider. By the spider. That's really nice. And now she's back. How much health? She has three health. Look at me. Having three health. It's basically free healing. So I hear you died. Yeah, I did. And don't you dare mention it. Yeah, you got three health. So I knew. Okay, this is nasty because uh, I want to disable the trap. Ooh. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, Al Valerie. 
Okay. Yeah, we got this. We can do these things. We can also exit combat. And lose an arrow. Well, there it is. Fall back. And that was a hit for five damage. Not too much. Um, let's go for that spider over here. Maybe not you. Ooh, that's destruction there. Okay, now you. How do they go? They are going for Valerie and also for Jethal, which is fine with me. Although not so much for Jethal. She has pretty decent armor class, though. There we go. And a lot of webs all over the place. Okay, these guys are not having... Um, a whole lot of uh, loot or anything. Okay. And we're also out of time, so I'll wait for these webs to go away. And Amory's got herself stuck again. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.